Tonight, we let you weigh in on a debate over what constitutes right and wrong in war. Three years ago, there was an attack on a neighborhood street in Iraq by the U.S. military. And now a classified video of the attack is being watched by millions around the world. Was the attack justified? Does the tape show callous disregard? Pierre Thomas looks at the evidence to show you both sides. You are looking through the camera lens of a U.S. attack helicopter hovering high above eastern Baghdad. It was called in after a U.S. convoy in the area was attacked. The rules of engagement allow the helicopter to respond to a perceived threat to the convoy. That's a weapon. Yeah. We have five to six individuals with AK-47s. Request permission to engage. They say these men are carrying AK-47 assault rifles. Eight seconds later, the order is given. So, uh, you know, three, two, engage, over. All right, we'll be engaging. Roger, go ahead. The helicopter rains down machine gun fire. Light them all up. Two traffic, two sixties. Come on, fire. Hey, Roger. Keep shooting. Moments later, a van arrives to help the wounded. Its passengers become targets as well. We have individuals going to the scene, looks like possibly uh, picking up bodies and weapons. Come on, let us shoot. Another hail of gunfire. At least eight people are dead. Two children are hit. I got a wounded girl. We didn't take the rest of mine. The Americans hadn't seen the children. Soldiers on the ground raced to save them. Two journalists from the Reuters News Agency are among the dead. Remember this moment? That's a weapon. While some of the men were armed, these are not weapons. They're cameras. Were the mistakes understandable given that this happened during one of the bloodiest periods of the war? Or were the soldiers trigger happy firing when there was no imminent threat? The watchdog group which released the video accused the military of murder. Their desire was simply to kill and to find any excuse in the rules of engagement which... After viewing the tape, retired four-star General Jack Keane disagrees. Were the soldiers justified in the use of deadly force? Yeah, absolutely. Their job there is to make certain that none of those insurgents engage U.S. forces. But General Keane wasn't so sure about firing on the van. Based on what I saw, I probably would not have pulled the trigger. A military investigation concluded the deaths of the journalists were tragic, but the actions of the soldiers were appropriate. Differing views in the fog of war. Pierre Thomas, ABC News, Washington. And again, let us know what you think online. We have more news of the day when we return.